You likely know by now how much elite gymnastics talent we have in Minnesota. One of those now former gymnasts just came out with a book detailing how Maggie Nichols was pivotal in changing USA Gymnastics for the better. Oh, yeah, she's my favorite. Oh, I know, yeah. A book signing, a gratifying culmination for one of Minnesota's most accomplished gymnasts. It's super exciting. It's so crazy to say I'm an author and have this be published. It's been a lot of hard work, but it's been super fun and rewarding at the same time. Awesome. Thank Maggie Nichols' new book, Unstoppable, is a story of perseverance. But I think a big part of my story is how I overcame adversity and how I always stay positive. Nichols is from Little Canada, graduated from Roseville High School, and from a young age, trained to be one of the United States' top gymnasts at elite Minnesota gym, Twin City Twisters. When I was younger, I just loved going into the gym every single day, and going to Twin City Twisters truly changed my life for the better. Um, the coaches are absolutely the best in the nation. Along the way, Nichols was instrumental in large-scale changes in USA gymnastics. She was the first to come forward in the Larry Nasser case, bringing to light the sexual abuse gymnasts in the program were subject to. I think a lot of people know about what happened at USAG, but they don't know the extent of it, and I think my book really goes into detail about everything that happened. Um, but I think it's really important to educate people on sexual abuse and just how prevalent it is in today's society. And so um, I think my book is very educating and it'll help a lot of people. In 2016, Nichols did not make the Olympic team. Her book lays out why she thinks that happened and what happened next. It was a very challenging time in my life. But I think that when one door closes, another door swings wide open. Nichols had a dominant college career, winning eight national titles. She's now based in Texas, working as a personal trainer and running her foundation. Despite her tumultuous past with Team USA, she wants to be here this summer when the Olympic trials come to Minneapolis. I was so excited. I want to be there for sure. Um, you know, it'll be exciting for Suni Lee. She's from Minnesota as well. And so I'm for sure going to try to make it and uh, watch all my old teammate Simone and, and everybody, so it'll be really exciting. Maggie told me she's still good friends with Simone Biles, you know, the greatest ever, who's trying to go back to the Olympics next year. Uh, obviously, the Olympic trial is coming up here in late June in Minneapolis. All right. Thank you, Ryan.